Hi, today I'm reviewing the Tarte Knockout Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I will never waste your time sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com or click on the Amazon link below. So this is Tarte's follow-up to their Knockout Exfoliating Tingle Treatment, which a lot of people really liked. Eh, I had a love-hate relationship with it. It had some great ingredients and it had some iffy ingredients for skin and kind of the same thing with the cleanser. So Tarte calls this a vegan uh, alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acid cleanser. It helps dissolve dead skin, exfoliate and refine pores while delivering an invigorating lather for skin that feels soft and smooth. I agree with some of that, but let me get into the details of it in a minute. Okay. So my first criteria is packaging. They package it in a nice squeeze tube bottle. No issues all with it. Really easy to use. Love it. I like the clip tops. They're easy, especially when you have your eyes shut and whatever. So no issues all with that. Denatured alcohol, none of that in there. So no issues with that. Although since it's a rinse off formula, alcohol is not as big of an issue. So let me get into fragrance. This one does have quite a few fragrance ingredients. Again, it's a rinse off product. Uh, peppermint is very noticeable and higher up on the ingredient list, which I love the smell of peppermint. It's very invigorating. It really wakens you up, which is nice. So it's got peppermint, eucalyptus, limonene, and linalool, which all rinse off. However, the peppermint is pretty high up there and it can really dry out skin, especially if you have more sensitive skin. And in a combination with some of the other ingredients in here, it's not the wisest decision. To be honest, I went to pH test this. With cleansers, you want to pH test them as they're applied on your skin. So you want to get them wet and lather them up and then pH test it, not just directly from the mouth of the uh, tube. So I did that and my hands, even just after doing it on my hands, my hands were noticeably dry. So it's, a lot of that's probably from the peppermint. So not the best choice. Thankfully, it's a rinse up product, so it won't be as big of a deal, but Still is an issue, especially for those with sensitive skin. The manufacturing location for this is the U.S., so no issues with that. Ease of use, a dime size amount works up a pretty good lather because of one of the surfactants that they used in this. Uh, they recommend avoiding the entire eye area because of the peppermint, and it will sting your eyes a little bit. So be warned of that. It's really hard to use a cleanser over the rest of your face and not your eyes. It's really hard. I don't know. It's really hard to do if not nearly impossible to do. So it will cause stinging, so be careful around the eye area. It does a decent job removing makeup. pH tested it with a water and the pH was about five, so no issues at all with that. Although the alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids don't do much when they're at a pH of five, even more so when they're only on your skin for a few seconds before rinsing them off. So not much time for those to do too much for your skin, so. Really, alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids work better on a longer term treatment, like almost like an overnight mask or a serum that you leave on uh, overnight. So, or even a mask that's on 30 minutes will still do more than something that's only on your skin for 10 seconds. So, so it's easy to use. Is it effective uh, in what it claims to do? Uh, not, not so much, but I'll get there. Okay, so. Antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. So it's got some alpha hydroxy, beta hydroxy acids, which don't have enough time on your skin to do much exfoliating. Then they also have sodium C1416 olefin sulfonate, which is a foaming agent. It gives products the foaming, which makes people feel cleaner a little bit, but it can be very drying to skin. And I've, I did notice that when I use this, that between that, the peppermint, and maybe a little bit of action from the acids in there, it is very drying. Uh, then we've got apple fruit extract, lactic acid, glycolic acid. So, they, I mean, they did put some good ingredients in here, but they also included some not so great ones, which was my main issue with the knockout tingling treatment in and of itself. So... In terms of animal testing, this is cruelty-free and vegan, so I have no issues with that. Performance, this one left my skin feeling super dry, a bit irritated. Uh, my eyes were a little stingy for a second or until I rinsed off, then it was pretty much fine. The following morning, my skin 
uh, I was feeling dry and flaky, even just my hands using it to do the pH testing. It felt very drying on my hands. So performance for this one, for me, not so much. Maybe I'm not the target audience for this. It might be more people with oily skin or oily acne prone skin. Certainly dry skin is not going to find much of this that they like, I don't think. Price. So this is the full size, which is 4.19 ounces and retails for $24. So that's certainly not expensive at all. And a tube like this will last you a long time. So no issues at all with that. It factor. Peppermint, I think, is my single biggest issue with this one, uh, obviously. And it's hard to keep a cleanser out of your eyes. So the peppermint does sting a bit. The exfoliating ingredients don't have too much time to work. Also contains a potentially drying foaming agent. Uh, certainly not the best option for sensitive skin. And uh, even for non-sensitive skin, there's just better cleansers out there that are more gentle on skin. And if you're needing some exfoliation, you're much better going for a leave-on serum or an exfoliating toner. Their toner version of this is better than this one. So this one I just... There's so many issues with it from the start, although it's well packaged, so they've got that right, and it's affordable, so I'm sure some people will like it, no issues with that, but for me, overall, I give this a 6 out of 10, which I think technically is a D. Yeah, that's a D. Not even a D plus, that's just a D. So anyway, one worth avoiding, in my opinion, although Tarte's last few skincare products have really made their... Their moisturizer and their vitamin C were great, so that's why I thought this one was worth checking out. But Tarte, for me, for skincare is becoming hit or miss. You just never know. So anyway, I'm interested if you guys have a chance to try this. And if you have what your thoughts are, or if you've tried their uh, knockout tingling treatment, what your thoughts are on that. I know a lot of people like it. Some dislike it. It's all over the board. So anyway, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, stay tuned for more tomorrow, and thank you so much.